Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here again with another unboxing review video for you. And today's video is gonna be very, very good. We have the H1 Sport headphones right here, guys. These are Bluetooth and these things pack a punch. Small, lightweight, very convenient for the gym, for cycling, for any kind of sports running or whatnot. Again, the H1 Sport headset. And they also come with different colors as well. Just like all my unboxing review videos, I link the products in the description box below this video so you guys can pick them up yourself. Now something that I definitely, definitely like is I'm a big user of headphones for sports, gym activities. Anything that you do sports activity wise, I want lightweight. I hate cords, guys. I hate cords. I wish everything was Wi-Fi, Bluetooth capability and we just could end cords all together. In the gym, I have to tuck my cord down through my shirt into my pocket, and if you have heavy weights on your lap, sometimes you can smash your phone. Bluetooth, you literally can have your phone. If you're close to a locker, 15 feet, 20 feet away, you can have your phone in the locker at the gym. You could have it on top of your towel while you're working out. Let's get right into the unboxing video here. Right here, we have a beautiful package that came Again, a little sport, and this is version 4.1. And right here on the side of the box, long using time, about 10 hours use time with one single full charge. We have music, complete control with volume adjustment, track list, shift with jumping of control button, connect, connect to two mobile phones. Whoa, connect to two mobile phones. That's the first time I've ever seen this able to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to connect that with two phones at the same exact time in this video. I'm going to put that to a test. I haven't seen that before, guys. Uh, back here, this is Android capability, PS4, Windows, iPad, iPhone, iPod. We have built-in rechargeable lithium battery, supports answer calls, reject calls, in calls, redial. The LED light clearly indicates the headset status, compatible with most of the Bluetooth-enabled devices. Those are the ones I just read to you guys, iPhone, iPad, Android, etc. Again, the model number is H1, the version 4.1 Sport Stereo Headset. It's a standard micro USB charging port, easy communication function. Function is call, answer, redial, voice control, like I mentioned. Connect with two mobile phones. I'm going to put that to a test. Switching between your mobile phone and headset. Music play operating LED indicator status. Very nice. And it looks like... And down here it says Android Marketplace and iOS, available in iOS as well, so compatible with both. Anyway guys, again, very simple, very elegant packaging. Let's go ahead and open it on up. We have a little tape right here connecting the box. Let's go ahead and rip that guy there. All right, let's go ahead and open it on up. Little flap here, just like a nice Beats box there. And I ordered the black ones, again, this one right here is the blue and green, or it comes in, I think, all green. I order all black. And let's go ahead and open up the box on up here. And we see back of the headphones right here, coming down to this little package here. Let's go ahead and open this guy on up. And here we just have a little foam piece. And then we have our charging cable and our rest of our cord. And the cord, again, just goes around the back of your neck. That's the cord I'm talking about. And we also have extra ear cushions here. We have two sets here. Looks like large ones and small ones here in the bag. We'll get a close-up of that in just a second. And we have our charging, charging cable here for our headphones. Let's go ahead and unravel that real quick. Let's take a look at how long that is. And we're looking at a nice about solid one foot, maybe 14 inch cable including the tips right here. So nice and short, being able to plug right into your laptop or plug that into your wall charger that you have lying around the house. Now, this does not include a wall charger. This just includes the cable, but I know you guys have the wall portion part already. All right, let's go ahead and open this on up here. Again, our nice bands there and our headphones right here. And let's go ahead and pull this on out here and take a closer look at it here. And before we get to the headphones, let's take a look at the box real quickly here. This again, little pad piece lifts up and we have just this portion here and then we come to the instruction manuals here let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick just gives you all your directions there your how to connect it all right guys let's go ahead and take a look at the earphones now now these earphones again have a little hook on the top of them right here 
I'll get a close-up of that again in just a second here. But that hook goes in the inner portion of your ear once the earphone is inside to help stability and help it from not falling out or anything like that. Now, I personally really enjoy in-ear headphones, earphones, because I like noise cancellation, especially on airplanes or in the gym, etc. So let's go ahead and put these guys on in. And as I'm putting them in and talking, my voice is very, very numb. The noise cancellation is very good. And so again, that hooks in there. I'll get a close up of that. That hooks in there, up there on my ear canal there. Well, it goes inside my canal as the other portion hooks up in my ear. And again, we have our little sports band wire that just goes around the back of our neck here. And guys, that is wonderful. So let's go ahead and simulate if I'm running or whatnot. And those things are staying in there. So if I'm biking, if I'm running, if I'm crossfitting, doing whatever, those guys are inside my ears. All right, let's go ahead and get a close up and let's go ahead and power these guys on and see how they sound. All right, guys, these are great looking headphones right here. As we can see here, here's our little hooks right up here. That hook into your inner ear as these tips go into your ear canal, just like normal earphones. We're coming around to a nice wiring band that goes around the back of your neck again. Now this is a one size fits all. But again, it's not too long, so it won't be banging around the back of your neck. It's just perfect. As we can see here, guys, just a great overall shape. And this is the right one here. And the right one is the one that has the charging port here for your cable. It also, on the back side here, has your volume up and down, down button right here. Your accepting phone calls, rejecting phone calls, redial button here. Again, your different ear pads here. So it came with two already on it. This is your left one. There are no control features on the left one. Very nice, and as you can see, the back of it is about, compared to my middle finger nail there. And then it has some large ones and some smaller ones for your different ear canals. So very nice, guys. Very sleek, very glossy black, very nice. No logos, very sleek. The band is very, very nice. Sweat proof, waterproof. Great quality, good connection. And also guys, here's the charging cable. It's a micro USB. Again, about 14 inches, about one foot, 14 inches long. Right below the charging port is our microphone hole. And that's where our microphone is. So when you speak, that's where the sound goes into right there. All right guys, let's go ahead and pair this. And so we're gonna go ahead and hit our power button, which is right below the volume buttons there. So we're gonna go ahead and hold that for about 10 or 15 seconds, the directions say or even five to 10. And there will be a red and blue light that pop on right there, as you can see right here. Now we're in discover mode, and we'll be pairing this with my iPhone. So let's go ahead and open up the settings menu and go to Bluetooth connect. For Droid, it's gonna be the same way you would connect any other Bluetooth device. So we're gonna go to Bluetooth on, and then right here it says my devices, and it says right here, Right down here it says H1. So we're gonna go ahead and pair it up with H1. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tap H1. Well, it's still in discover mode and it says connected. So we're connected now. Very simple, very easy guys, H1 connected. That's how simple it is, just takes a few seconds. There we go guys, we can hear it right there. Let's go ahead and pop these guys on in and see how they sound here. Again, just around the back of your neck like this guys. Pop them in. Very good. I can't even hear my voice. The noise cancellation is so good. The bass is very good. Wow. I'm very impressed, guys. I'm very impressed. These sound very good. Wow. I'm very impressed, guys. I don't know how loud I was talking there. I was trying not to talk too loud. Guys, the bass, right now I'm listening to a song called Black Mill Remix by Black Mill Miracle, and it is thumping, absolutely thumping on Pandora. Okay guys, so it allows you to do both devices, but you will have to go back to the device that's not connected and you will have to connect again. So right now it's connected to my Android device. So unfortunately, I initially thought that I could play both 
music through the earphones, but that doesn't make any sense, guys, so I'm just clarifying that for you as well. And so when switching back and forth, guys, to your different devices, if they're close proximity to each other, you do have to go back to settings in whatever device if you want to pair it back up to the other one. And you would just choose Bluetooth, you would choose disconnect, in the connection over here with my Android device. I would come back over here to my iPhone, I would hit H1 and it would be connected again. Remember, so you are able to connect to two different devices, but remember before you play music on one or the other, you will have to disconnect the connection from one, moving over and reconnecting the connection to the other device. Hey guys, I also wanted to tell you that the battery indicator for your H1 headset is right here next to the Bluetooth, right here. I think that's really, really cool. So I have my battery for my iPhone here, and very, very small, next to the Bluetooth symbol, right where my thumbnail is, there's another battery indicator for your H1 headset for your iPhone. Now let's go over to the Android device and see if it's the same way for a battery indicator on your Droid. Unfortunately, guys, on the Droid device, I'm not seeing a battery indicator next to the Bluetooth symbol like the iPhone. It might be because the iOS, the new iOS update, is compatible with the Bluetooth device, but for some reason, the Droid device does not show a battery indicator symbol. You guys might know better than I do, but I'm not seeing it up on my screen menu here. It might be into the settings somewhere, but I like the iPhone because it says it's right up on top of the menu there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. To be honest with you, I am more impressed with these after I've listened to them than when I first anticipated, to tell you the honest truth. These things sound really good. The bass is good. I'm, I'm being straight up honest with you guys. I listen to a lot of dubstep, type of like melody dubstep. Check out Black Mill, Miracle Song. I'm on Pandora. Guys, these sound good. I'm definitely, definitely gonna like these for the gym and for cycling. I'm a big cyclist, so I like to cycle with these guys and also go to the gym, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy them. So, quick recap. Earphones, instruction manual, box and all the different little foam pads there, charging cable, and ear tips that go into your ears. Again, three sets, two in the bag, one already on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, look in that description box below for the link where you can pick this up. Again, in different colors. There's a picture of green right there. The front of the box has the blue green for the ladies that might like a different color, even the guys. I was I was really thinking about getting this color, but I definitely like sleek black. And again, the black come in three different colors. Look in that description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for a lot more unboxing and reviews for different products. And thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.